Hi, welcome back to the channel, Train Station 2. All right, I could share here about the Seaport event, uh, but of course, I could share as well. And Canada have finished the uh, Sort Factory. Really happy with that. All right, so now, Seaport event started uh, today. Um, by the time you look at this video, you may be already playing it. Hopefully, you don't, uh, because um, always start late. So, it has to get a better option to, uh, in fighting those competitions. So, um, and not to share about this, uh, but it says it's a mini event, <laughs> right? So um, it's about a week or so. So generally, how it works is that um, during this period of time, um, you you got to finish or uh, you could, and so you can get the best rewards of this seaport event. So generally, um, event uh, shop available until um, ten of March, uh, which is twenty four hours after the event. Um, in long events, it's 48 hours, but a short event, this will be just um, for 24 hours. And uh, you got to complete all your unfinished jobs and use the rest of your uh, seaport coins in the e event shop. And then uh, during this period, um, you will not get any more um, ship tasks. All right, so um, players with a level of 12 and above um, will be entitled to play this um, seaport event. I'm um, going to share a bit about the seaport event. I always look forward to this, but unfortunately, Nowadays, they put into a very short uh, seaport event. All right, so um, ship tasks. All right, so here at the seaport um, at our station, uh, this replaces actually um, the factory itself. So once you click on this seaport, um, you will trade in your current uh, items that you have um, in the non event factories and you produce it. And then eventually, um, once you have that order ready, um, you're going to click accept. All right, so that in that context, um, you are trading for the seaport items, all right? Like for example, compass, ropes, uh, anchor, uh, pedals, and whatnot. Uh, you have seen um, on the screen right now, um, there's an additional one, you can watch the video um, to unlock um, that boat. So that will be an additional one. Um, do not spend any gems, um, totally not worth it. It's just a very mini event, so don't do that. As I mentioned earlier, uh, how I wish this was a longer event so we can get more coins and get more trains. Um, Finishing the uh, ship toss, um, your event uh, materials come to your way. As I mentioned earlier, um, no event factory, all right? So don't look for the factory, it never happened, <laughs> right? So just take note of this. Um, generally, um, every uh, um, delivery uh, of those acceptance uh, give you the items, all right? So make sure you do it before the expiry. Um, complete them in time, or they will be disappeared, all right? So another task will then generate in an hour. Um, don't forget to accept the ship task when you have enough materials, as I mentioned earlier. So this is just a sample. Um, you can see there's actually a bean button. Um, I'm not too sure whether uh, how many beans they allow you to clear. Uh, probably at once, and uh, gradually uh, you're going to watch a video, and then you can pay for gems. So, so be careful of which items you want to be in the way. Um, I'll urge you to do as much as possible, um, so you can gather lots of those um, event items. Um, even though you may not need it straight away, um, that will be saving up the lot of these event materials. So like I said earlier, um, compass, um, anchors, um, of course, uh, ropes as well. Uh, I think paddles and uh, I can't recall. I think one more to go later we'll we reach there. Um, yeah, ship wheel. All right. So uh, this these are the few or uh, the five um, event materials they can get um, once you trade in your non-event um, items. All right. So here again, um, event materials. Um, we're looking at compass, anchor, uh, roped, pedal, and last but not least, ship wheel. All right, so generally that's how it works out. It's very simple. Um, there's no need to make them. You just trade them. And once you trade them, um, then you have that item. You will be um, feeding this uh, greedy uh, captain waiting for those items. Um, that takes a lot of effort for sure. Um, again, um, there's a bin button. Um, probably you can bin once again and then watch a video. And of course, the rest you're going to pay gems. So be careful on which one you're the bin. Uh, be, be careful on that because you'll bear in mind um, this gave you this precious commodity called a seaport coin. So once you receive the seaport coin, um, you're going to save up and then eventually change for the things you want. I'm guessing at max, probably I can be able to get um, legendary, uh, but let's see how things work out. I'm hoping um, to get um, both uh, region four and region six uh, missing legendary so this is something I really look forward to but again uh, because of the short duration i really think um, there'll be a lot of difficulty in trying to get um, the missing train because sometimes you just get duplicate ones all right so um 
if you're missing the lower region ones like Britain, um, I think it's so much easier. But as we move further, uh, it may be harder to get those um, good number of those uh, seaport coins. All right, so here we are. Um, back to uh, what I've been really working hard with, as I shared with you previously, um, working hard on Japan and working hard on Canada. So in Canada-wise, um, what I'm working on is the last job uh, in Japan. Lots of jobs to be completed, so it's not a good easy task. Um, but um, the sort factory is what I'm aiming for in Canada and I've just done my last delivery so now I can focus back on Japan and of course um, this one week on the Seaport event so um, in terms of the Seaport event um, let's see what are the trains that is really attractive and number of coins required so you can see Britain that has Region 1, Germany, USA, France, Canada, uh, Finland, Netherlands, um, Australia, Sweden and of course uh, there are Japan uh, probably uh, not included because it's not previous region <laughs> so for me it's up to Sweden then um, as you saw earlier there are other requirements um, that you can get for example coins and parts um, so I'm checking out every single region now uh, region 1 um, Britain I'm fully uh, full collections likewise for Germany a uh, full collection so um, I already gotten all the trains um, likewise for uh, USA yeah, I've gotten all the full collection as well so that's not too much um, looking into France um, this is the one um, that I mentioned that we're hoping to get um, the up ch uh, challenge so region 5 Canada all right so full collection at what wise um, let's check out uh, Finland Finland is another one um, that I don't have um, the full collection I'm missing by one legendary so um, this is the one I'm looking at at 8060 so um, both region 4 uh, UP challenge and uh, 8060 all right so um, lucky me um, Netherlands I think um, got it uh, completed uh, so it's a full collection likewise um, Australia uh, I believe it's full collection likewise Okay, great. And uh, Sweden, I got a full collection likewise. So I've been working hard. Um, previously, um, the Seaport event was a main event. Uh, they can get more trains now. It's a bit tougher. So I'm really hoping uh, we get a missing train uh, in Japan as well. Uh, that is what I've been working for right now. Uh, one will be definitely once I complete a certain job. The other one depends on luck. So I'm looking after um, the number of coins required. Uh, five two zero. And you can see the missing train there and uh, looking at uh, Finland uh, 800 so um, this will be the two um, containers I'm working hard for but again like I mentioned uh, it's all chance no guarantee because you can get duplicate trains all right so um, that's uh, something to look forward to and uh, for now I'm just uh, going to share with you the jobs I have in Japan uh, lots of it uh, as I mentioned earlier I'm with a bit of slow motion here to share with you the XP is really high um, and um, I would say this um, you would be forced to um, generally progress faster than expected because of the high number of XP so I'm really wanting to share if you could stay in the current region as much as possible so as um, to collect all trains otherwise you will need to rely on this um, seaport events um, I'm going to share with you again um, this is the train um, I'm mixing out but um, there's a good chance um, of getting it because um, three of the slots are um, the missing train so as long as we fall within that three slots i think we are good and uh, let's check out the other one uh, which is finland um, again that one missing train but this time around uh, you can see um, there is only a chance of two slots here so this is harder to get compared to just now we saw um, in region 4 France all right so uh, again all depends on luck I'm gonna finish uh, my Japan job as fast as possible uh, but that will really um, cause me to accelerate in terms of leveling up I do not wish to level up too fast um, because that means that we have a chance of missing um, another legendary train in um, Japan so um, make sure uh, you can get all the trains and get more event trains um, before you move on all right so now um, sort factory as i mentioned earlier something to excited about um, sort factory is really something is good because that's no need to wait for anymore it's just a three minutes away <laughs> right so thank you for watching do like and subscribe and uh good luck for the seaport event goodbye <music>